we need to start on our final paper here by doing a half inch border on all the sides. And the reason why we do a half inch border is it gives you some space to put your fingers while you're shading so that you don't have to touch your drawing. And it just looks nice when I put it into a mat or a frame. Um, you won't have any of your drawing covered up. So you need to have a ruler. Now, you want to be careful here because some rulers, they start at zero. Let me zoom in so I can show you what I mean here. This ruler, it starts at zero and then it goes to one. We want to do a half inch. However, this ruler, notice that the end right here doesn't start at zero. Zero is right here. It's this little skinny line right here. So the reason why this is important is if you're trying to create a half inch border, if you were using this ruler, all you'd have to do is line up the paper with the end of the ruler and then do a half inch. This one's a little bit easy. However, with this one, notice that I can't just line it up with the end of the ruler again because zero is right here and my half inch would be here and that's a lot different. So you gotta make sure that you, if you're using a ruler like this and you see a line coming out of here, that you slide over the paper to that line. See that? So I've got that lined up with the line now. That's different from the other ruler that we just used. So again, that's at a half inch. That's perfect. It lines up just right. So don't make the mistake of accidentally sliding the paper over to the end there if you notice that there's a little zero line right here. Okay? So just watch out for that. Now, I'm going to keep using this ruler just so that you can see this process. So I've got one half inch already. I'm going to slide it on over and do it this again on this side. So I'm lining up the end of my paper with that zero mark. And your paper is um, 11 by 14, so the other end of the paper should fit nicely on the 11 line. Again, this is one inch. We want a half inch border, and the half inch is this longer line right here. Okay. Going to do it again on this side, lining up my paper. So see, it lines up nicely with 14 because it's an 11 by 14 paper, approximately. I did cut it myself, so it might not be like perfect, perfect, but as long as you get your lines going from that half inch mark here, do a little tick mark, perfect. Now, we've only got one mark on each corner. We got to get these edges as well that don't have any tick marks. So to do that, I'm going to take my ruler again. I'm going to put it on the half inch right here, so my paper edge is lined up with the half inch. I'm going to go to that zero. Just make sure that it's a half inch across from the end of the paper. Okay, got a couple more. There we go. So now our whole paper has got eight tick marks that are one half inch away from the edge. Okay, so now what we do is we take our ruler and we need to draw very light lines that come across here. So I'm gonna line up my ruler with my half inch tick marks. I'm gonna do this side first. So I've got a half inch here, I've got a half inch here. And I'm doing this fairly lightly. I'm doing a little bit heavier just so that you can see it. But when you're doing this process, you want to make sure that your lines are very light. I'm only pressing harder so that it shows up on the camera for you. So again, line up your ruler. Take some time doing this. Don't rush through this process or else your border might look a little bit wonky. Bring this across, and one more, and bring it across. 
there you go. You've got your half inch border.